Hey guys, uh, just wanted to hop on real quick and, and share something that's just uh, been on my, my mind since uh, yesterday when I heard uh, the governor kind of do the uh, shutdown of everything. It looks like we're going to be in for a, a longer period of this than maybe some of us thought. I don't know, maybe, maybe you're expecting this, but um, uh, it got me thinking about stories, probably because I've been reading a lot to my kids. Uh, you know, children's stories are very formulaic. Um, they all, a lot of them start out the same same way. Once upon a time, and then introduces a character, and then, and then eventually you have you know the next page turn. Then one day, and then there's the rest of the story. Um, and that that's a you know a simple version of basically the way all stories are built. Whether it's you know a two hundred million dollar blockbuster movie or or a simple children's story. They're all they all kind of have the same form. It, it starts with a character, and then there's this thing that's called um, an inciting incident. It's a it's it's the thing that happens one day, then one day. Um, and I got to thinking that this we are in one of those situations right now, and it's kind of collectively happening to all of us. Where one day the government told us we had to stay in our homes. And so we are in kind of a, a, a little new season of life here for we know at least the next 14 days. We don't know how long after that, but we know we have the next 14 days in this one figurative day. Um, and uh, the thought that came to me is, you know, the difference between the characters in a story is not about what their one day is. It doesn't matter. The inciting incident that happens to you doesn't define what character you are in the story, whether you're the hero or the victim or the bystander or the villain even. What determines what role you play is your response to the inciting incident, to the one day. And so here's, here's my challenge to you. You have 14 days right now that this is a, a one day kind of season. And what character are you gonna choose to play in this role, in this time? Um, are you gonna be the hero and step up? You know, we, this is a, could be a great opportunity. For some of us, we have a ton of free time on our hands because um, you're forced to be at home and don't have a lot of uh, <laughs> options. Um, you know, are you going to sit around and just binge Netflix for the next two weeks? Um, or are you going to look at this as an opportunity to say, gosh, maybe there's a book that I've always wanted to read that I always felt like would be important. Or maybe there's a person that I, I have a chance to finally catch up with on, on the phone and FaceTime or whatever. Maybe there's, uh, you know, if, if you're a person who works a lot and doesn't get a lot of time to spend with, with your kids, this is a prime opportunity to get to know them in a new way. Um, if you're, if you're, some of us are, are going to be more busy because you're, you're working and you're having to do it in this virtual um, kind of situation that you're not used to, and so things are taking longer than, than they normally do. Um, you know, are you going to be the guy at your work that that keeps a positive attitude, that encourages others, that 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 kind of uh, galvanizes the team, and 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 looks for creative ways to solve problems. Or are you going to be the one that just complains the whole time and, and kind of brings down down the mood? Um, it's up to you. You have a chance in this season to, to really write a cool story, an interesting story for these next two weeks. And I, and I just uh, my encouragement to you is is don't don't let it pass you by. Um, at the end of this, you know we're going to be talking about this for years and years and years. Have something worth talking about um, when this is all said and done. Hope you guys are having a good day. See ya.